hello friends so today i will show you how to configure reports that is standard reports in sap so you have to go to sap easy access on this screen you select sap menu in this you can go in either human resources or in information systems so if you go in human resources go to personal manage the information management system this reports okay so we are going to look for personal administration related standard reports so you can click on personal management then administration this we want to check the report for employees so i'm clicking on employee so these are all the standard reports which are provided by sap so the most commonly used is employee list and flexible employee data also birthday list so we'll check flexible employee data so the selections are already given here you select either today or other key date other key date can be any other date which you want this is personal number so you will get a report based on the personal numbers if you input any personal number here and then you execute the report so these are the field selections so here other than the personal number if you want to select anything more you can click here just like you want personal sub area personal area you select this and click this select and execute so since you selected personal area and sub area you got this report Similarly, you can select other fields as well. So I will show you how to execute employee list. So these are the selection parameters for this report. So here it is today, current month, current year, up to today, from today. So we will go for up to today. So in this selection field, there is personal number, employment status, PA, PSA, employee group, subgroup. So the employment, I want employment status active. That is, I want to execute report for active employees. So I'm selecting three. also you can select personal area here so these are the personal areas you can select as per your choice so these icons are for multiple selections that is if you want to select 10 employees then you can copy paste the employees numbers here or the personal area here So I'm executing this report. So these are the employees which are active in the system. So 
so this is layout you can change the layout or you can select layout here or you can also and you can save this layout as well so here the fields present a personal number personal id number name name at birth job title entry date and leaving you can also add more fields to this report so you have to go to change layout so these were the fields which we saw now person number to the leaving date now you, you want to add personal area here you select it and select this arrow so this here comes personal area so you can execute this so here you can see this employee belongs to this personal area now since we have generated this report but if we want to export it in excel you can select this option that is local file you can select rich text format And select desktop you can name it new file degree dot xl save it So you can see that this file has been created on the desktop. So here this file has been created. You can format this file as you want. So here personal area and all these fields have come. So this is how you can also change the layout. Now if you are using this report every time, every month. So you can save this as variant so that you can select the variant and the file will be executed the report will be executed so here i have selected for employment status as three and then you go to variants here in go to variants you can save this as variant To save this, uh, you need to put the variant name. In employees. Give a description. You save this variant. This variant is saved. You can also take on this instead of this go to so if I want to execute the same report. So since I have seen save the variant what i will do is instead of putting three here and selecting up to today here like last time you can go to variant now you can find your either find your variant by name or by your username 
this is my username you can execute this so this user has created two variants so you can select this one so my variant has is showing this field up to today as selected in the employment status as three so this is how you create variants in standard reports in SAP I hope you have understood how to execute standard reports in SAP and create variants as well as change layouts in the standard reports and how to download the file in Excel. Please like my video and subscribe. Thank you.